that. Idris Elba of The Wire is battling for the future of the human race. We'll talk about his new film. It's called Prometheus. When CBS This Morning continues, we'll be right back. Let's go through that gateway. There. Right there. God does not build in straight lines. This valley. Captain, do you think you could put us down there? Engage landing sequence. Switch the manual. Yeah. Come in. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Bringing it down in five. Preparing to fire RCS. Four. Two. He does it. Prometheus has landed. The new science fiction movie Prometheus features the British actor Idris Elba as the captain of a ship of scientists. He first got our attention a decade ago as Stringer Bell in The Wire on HBO. He's with us now in the studio. We're pleased to have him. Good, Good morning. morning. Is it a decade ago? Oh, I know. my God. Scott, I used to watch you. You were such a bad boy. <laughs> you were so bad, but you were so much fun to watch. Right. Is it Idris or Idris? I've called you Id Idris for years. Idris. Yeah. Idris. People Idris. love The Wire, though. It, got, it had everything. It had yeah, a yeah. wide following. It had a great critical review. Everything. Yeah. It continues to get writing. audiences as well. Very and good it, writing. It's a, yeah, it's great writing. You know what was so fascinating to me about it? The first time I saw an interview with you, I thought, why is he talking with that British accent? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is he doing that? Why is Stringer Bell doing that? Practicing for a role, you see. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an American accent hard for you to yeah. do because you do it so well. Um, I mean, it's, it's become increasingly harder now because everyone Everyone knows I'm English, so they're yeah. like, oh, I hear yeah. it, I hear yeah. it. I'm doing an accent right now, which is a bit more. And in this film, yeah. in, in Prometheus, I do a southern dialect. And oh, this... let's hear that. Let me no. hear. Oh, Come let me on, hear a little bit. On... You can't put me on a spot like that on TV. <laughs> yeah, <see? laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> but um, no, but in in the, uh, this journalist said you got a real good old boy accent in that film. <laughs> that was so funny. Which that should, that should be a compliment, though. Yeah, he said yeah. it was a good That would accent. mean that you nailed it. But it's not easy to do accents. It's just, you know, I've lived in America for 15 years. I feel like, a, you know, part of, the, part of the country and the fabric, so I can get the accent easier. And you wanted to do this because I heard that you get a call from Ridley Scott, and it can be life-changing, game-changing in your career. But this was the second time you've worked with him, because yeah. I remember you an American gangster. American gangster. So what was it like? You get a call from Ridley, and you think, okay, whatever it is, I want to work with you. Yeah, no, I mean, Ridley said, listen, I'm doing this sci-fi thing. That's what he said. I'm doing this sci-fi thing, and uh, the character that I'd love you to play is the captain of the ship. I mean, that's just it. I don't care what. It could be Moby Dick, but whatever. I, I was going to do it. Um, and he sent the script. I read it. I loved it. And, yeah, he's such a gentleman. I mean, he's a real majestic director. I've said that before. He, he, he's really warm. He knows everybody's job. He knows where you're going to fit into the film and how. He's a great director. I love Where it. did you Set film it? Uh, in London. In, in Pine, London, in Pinewood, Pinewood, which yeah. he owns. Yeah. <laughs> I think he used to own. I'm not oh, sure he sold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He and his brother. Up next, it. you're heading to South Africa. Mm. You'll be playing Nelson Mandela, and as I understand it, he actually suggested you for the role. Yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a. I don't want to say his name. It was a great actor that was going to play the the role for years. Give us the initials. <laughs> DW. Okay. Anyway. Um, and, Could be uh, Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't want to nothing, say that. Nothing got... gets so, past So the great <laughs> actor was going to. He was going to do the role, and, yeah. uh, and, and I'm not sure if that worked out. You know, it, it was, you know, this is a, Mandela was in no rush to make this film. Yeah. And, uh, and, and eventually um, DW didn't want to do it or whatever, and, you know, the Mandela Foundation suggested me, and the Mandela said yes. And, I know, but how did you feel, though? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Elba. I mean, it was like, you know, how do you feel? You know, this yes. man is an icon, you know, he's like one of the most famous human beings. And in it's also based on his, is it his autobiography? Yeah. Long Walk yes. to Freedom. Yeah, exactly. Freedom. Yeah. So I go to South Africa for about 17 weeks to do that film. And I'm very excited by it. And I'll go see Thank that you. one too. Oh, please. Good Thank to you. see you. Good Thank to you. see you all. Oh, Thank you. Elba. Prometheus Good opens in theaters on June 8th. That does it for us. Up next, your local news. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS This Morning with any luck. Yeah. <laughs>